Hello, my name is Michael Bass and I'm a product engineer with Clutch Industries. Today I'll be talking about technical bulletin number four. This relates to Holden Commodore and Calais VX. Uh, this has a 5.7 litre engine, V8, and it runs from 2001 to 2002. This technical bulletin talks about the need for a spacer between the concentric slave cylinder and the transmission. The reason we need this spacer is because there is a difference between the original manufacturer's clutch cover assembly compared to Clutch Industries cover assembly. And here beside me you can see the difference. The original manufacturer's cover assembly is a self-adjusting clutch, whereas the Clutch Industries cover assembly is a non-self-adjusting clutch which has a heavier duty clamp load. So within your clutch kit, what you receive is a four millimeter zinc coated spacer. So now I'm going to talk about the installation procedure of this spacer during a clutch installation. The first step would be to remove the transmission from the vehicle as per the original manufacturer's specifications. This also includes the disconnection of hydraulic lines. When you get the transmission out of the vehicle and you look at the transmission, uh, the concentric slave cylinder, which you have here, will be mounted on the transmission shaft input wall. Uh, it will be fixed in place by bolts located here and here. There are two bolts. You can simply undo these bolts and remove the concentric slave cylinder from its location. At this point, it's important to look at the rear of the uh, concentric slave cylinder to see if the original manufacturer has a spacer which is already there, usually a two millimeter spacer. It's important to remove and discard this spacer at this point. The next step would be to get your Clutch Industries spacer and place it at the rear of the concentric slave cylinder, aligning its bolt holes with those of the concentric slave cylinder. Then place it back in its home position and fasten the mounting bolts to the concentric slave cylinder. So after you've installed the concentric slave cylinder back into the transmission, you can reinstall the transmission into the vehicle as per the original manufacturer's instructions, as well as reconnecting the hydraulic lines. At this point, bleeding of the hydraulic lines is a pretty important uh, step in the installation of a clutch kit. Uh, not doing this correctly creates varying results for clutch performance. Clutch Industries recommends the use of a power bleeder and it's also important to monitor the hydraulic fluid levels within the master cylinder. These levels need to remain constant. Now when you are testing the vehicle after you've reinstalled the clutch, uh, you may actually find that its pedal height is different. In this case, you may be, your vehicle may have a master cylinder with a push rod that is adjustable, uh, adjustable by a thread. Now previously, this push rod may have been adjusted to compensate for clutch wear. If you find this is the case, readjustment of this push rod needs to occur again in order to get a acceptable pedal height. If you require any further support with this technical bulletin, please contact Clutch Industries on 1300 369 787.